this isn't clickbait. If you use Windows 11, you need to stop what you're doing and hear this warning. You cannot afford to ignore this. Two recent Microsoft updates, one of them a mandatory security patch, has been linked to catastrophic data corruption and even complete SSD failure. Your personal files, your games, your work, it could all be at risk. In this video, I'll explain what's happening, which updates are the problem, and the steps you need to take right now, today, August the 24th, 2025, to protect your system. Stick around. There's a recent mandatory update from Microsoft putting your computer and all of your important data at serious risk. We're going to break down what's happening and how you can protect yourself. So apparently, the very system that's supposed to protect your PC with security updates is now the thing actively destroying storage drives and corrupting files. Perfect. This isn't some theoretical bug. It's a very real widespread problem happening right now. You absolutely need to know if you're affected and how to fix it before it's too late. And lucky for you, but not so lucky for me, I have the update and both of my drives on this PC are on the affected list. So instead of making the video I planned on making today, I'm fixing this issue right now and bringing you along for the ride. But first, I gotta keep the lights on, so check out today's sponsor. Are you using an unregistered version of Windows 11? Then you need to check out Keyspan.com. Keyspan offers a wide range of products including Windows 11, Windows 10, and even older versions like Windows 7. Need all the software? They got you covered with keys for Office 2019 and Office 2021. And here's the best part. You can save big with exclusive coupon codes by using my code RKT50 to get 50% off all Windows series. That means you can get Windows 11 Pro for less than $20. But wait, there's more. For Microsoft Office, use my code RKT62 to get a massive 62% off. Buying is super easy. Just add your chosen product key to your cart, apply the coupon code, and pay securely via PayPal or credit card. You'll receive your genuine activation key in no time. Once you have your product key, go back to the activation page, click on change product key, enter the product key you just purchased, and click activate. Be sure to check out keysfan.com. Real quick. I don't like to be that YouTuber that's constantly asking you to subscribe to the channel. I prefer to provide value in my videos and let you make that decision. But did you know that 92% of the viewers that watch my channel are not subscribed to the channel? Subscribing to the channel is completely free and it tells YouTube to push my video out to more people so I can continue to bring you content on a weekly basis just like this. You don't have to turn on the notifications. I did it, but it would help me out tremendously if you would subscribe. Thank you and let's get back to the video. So what exactly is happening? The leading theory is a change in the Windows 11 storage system is clashing with certain SSD firmware. That clash can lock up the controller, making your SSD completely vanish from Windows. It seems to be more likely to occur when transferring extremely large files and if your drive capacity is 60% or greater. And it's not just a few models. It started with Fizon SSD controllers, the thing that makes your drive work. And a lot of major manufacturers use Fizon controllers. For me specifically, I upgraded my drives back in April. You may have seen the video with a crucial NVMe drive and a Western Digital SATA SSD. And both drives are on the affected list. I'll put up a list of confirmed affected drives, but you'll need to search to see if your specific drive is reported. And please do not assume you're safe just because your drive isn't on the list. This is still developing. It's believed to be very widespread. More drives are almost certainly affected. So to be safe, assume you are affected and take action. In most cases, you might experience a system crash, blue screen of death, and your hard drive disappearing from Windows but then your drive may reappear after a reboot with potentially corrupted data. We'll walk through how to identify your drive shortly. Okay, so there are two specific 
updates that we need to identify and remove from our PCs. The main one, the big troublemaker, is update KB5063878. This was the mandatory Patch Tuesday update for August. Mine is dated August the 12th. Millions of PCs got it automatically. The other one is KB5062660. That was an optional preview update from July. This is for the folks in the program that test new features before they come out. You'll likely have the first one, KB5063878. That's the one that was pushed to your computer automatically in August's patch update. If you have either installed, you are at risk, but it doesn't stop there. Microsoft has admitted these updates cause audio and video lag in OBS Studio and NDI, but have not admitted the drive issues. But this is typical Microsoft. They don't acknowledge the issue publicly, but they're working on a fix for it. And even AutoCAD users are reporting new permissions errors too. This isn't just one bug. It's a sign of a deeply flawed update. All right, enough about the problem. Let's talk about the solution. So here's the action plan. First, you need to identify your hard drive, the manufacturer, so you can see if it's on the affected list. And again, this is going to affect solid state drives. These are your serial ATA SSDs, NVMEs, solid state drives. Your old mechanical hard drive, if your computer's a dinosaur, wouldn't be affected. But again, if you have an SSD drive, I would just assume that you are affected and go ahead and remove the update, which is step two, identify and remove the update. We'll go through, I'll show you the update and how to remove it. And then once we've done that is step three, we need to pause updates. We're gonna pause the updates for five weeks. That will give the hardware manufacturers time to update firmware, and that will give Microsoft time to fix the patch and release a new one. If we don't pause the updates, it'll just get added right back after you remove it. And five weeks should be plenty of time for Microsoft to get it together and release a new update. But here's the problem. If you recently did an upgrade or clean install and your updates came as part of that upgrade or clean install in a package, you may not be able to remove it. If that's the case, you'll need to focus on protecting your data until a fix is released. This affects all Windows 11 systems with the update. It doesn't have anything to do with unsupported hardware or anything like that. It's all Windows 11 computers that receive this August update. So let's hop on the PC and get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is identify our hard drive. I'm just gonna go here to the search box, type in device manager. I'm gonna come right here and double click on drives. And I have these two hard drives. This one, you can easily identify what model it is, the WD Blue 58510 which was on the list. Now you might run into a situation like this where you can't really readily understand what the manufacturer is based on that name. So we're just gonna Google that real quick. Now I could write that down, but I'm lazy. So I'm gonna bring up my snooping tool. This is a fairly recent feature update to the Windows snipping tool where you can now extract text, which comes in pretty handy. Got a little notepad here that I've got my updates on because I'm going to search them in Google in a minute. And I'm just going to paste that there so that I can copy this manufacturer here. Then I'm just gonna go to Google and I'm just gonna paste that model number in there. And it's the first one that come up here, Crucial P3 plus one terabyte. And I know that to be true because I know my model, but that's a quick way for you to find out which drive you have. And in order to get a list, I did post one in the video, but if you want to come to Google, these are the two updates in question. I'm just going to type in affected drive list or paste my updates in there. You can just do a regular Google search. I just clicked AI mode, so I'll break it down for us. And here is where it's going to list out the drives that feature the Fizon controller. 
This is one of my drives here, that WD Blue SA510. And here's my other drive, that Crucial P3 Plus. So both of mine were on the affected list. So now that we know what our hard drive is, next we just need to go remove the update and then pause all updates until the time we can get some fixes from Microsoft. So I'll just close all this stuff out. Then I'm just going to right click on my start menu, going to go to settings, going to go to windows updates. I'm going to come down here to update history. And right here in the quality updates, I have the KB 5063878. It's the last update I received. So I am confirming that I've got it. Then I'm going to come down here to uninstall updates. And these are the two that I have the ability to uninstall. And it's here. It's this second one from this list. Uh, updated on 8.12. And I'm going to click uninstall. And I'm going to click uninstall again. And the update is being uninstalled. Looks like that may take a minute. So I'll jump forward to when that's complete. And then we'll pause the updates. Okay, now it's complete. I'm going to tell it restart later. I'm going to go all the way back to Paul's updates. I'm going to select four or five weeks. And now my updates are paused until 927. And that's it. Now, if you can't uninstall the update because you did a package update through our new installer upgrade, you just need to be extremely careful until the new fix is released. And that means avoid writing large amounts of data. No huge downloads. No massive file transfers, especially if your SSD is nearly full. This is damage control, not a fix. Back your data up. If you haven't already, do it now. Always keep a backup. Right now, Fizon has acknowledged the issue and they're working on a firmware fix. Microsoft, on the other hand, has only acknowledged the smaller issues, but no patch yet for the catastrophic SSD bug. Bottom line, an official fix is still on the way. For now, you are your own tech support. And if there's one lesson we've learned here, it's this. Software will fail. Hardware will fail. The only real protection for your files is a regular, reliable backup cloud, external drive, doesn't matter. Just don't neglect it. We're told keep automatic updates on for security, but when updates themselves can destroy data without warning, you have to ask, is the convenience worth the risk? Something every PC user needs to think about. What are your thoughts? Drop me a comment below. If you found value in this video, please like and share the video, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. It's free, and it tells YouTube to push my videos out to more people so I can continue to bring you content just like this. Check out these other video suggestions. And as always, thank you for watching. And until next time.